All right, picture this. It's 1998. You are a self-taught filmmaker who's never gone to film school, has only studied English, uh, English literature, and you have this 16 millimeter camera, a budget of 6,000 pounds, and, and a very hectic schedule. What do you make out of that? The answer is Christopher Nolan's feature directing debut, Following. This is a really good one. It's got a really interesting premise of someone who kind of follows people to get to know them and uh, meets someone who helps take it to the next level by uh, doing burglaries and twists and turns come along the way in typical Nolan fashion. Yeah, there's some really good stuff here in following. I feel like the acting here is really good. Uh, Cinematography, for the most part, is just, um, is, it's nice. The score is nice. I'm also, like, fascinated by its production, um, and how you don't really need to have such a big budget or some studio to back you up. You could just, like, if, if there's anything, like, um, like, that's basically, like, what filmmakers like Kevin Smith and Richard Linklater were able to teach us back um, like a couple years before following. I also l love how this film showcases some of the, like even like even at his debut Nolan still has like some of the stuff that he's most known for like his jump from time to time um, showcasing things like characters' hair being different and showing events that haven't happened yet, much like in his latest film, Oppenheimer. Uh, the twists and turns were also really good. I feel like where the film falls a bit is some of the lighting is not very good. Um, yeah, I think think that might be it and or maybe and I think also because like I wouldn't place it as like one of Nolan's best but still he did a really banger job for his first film he, even like with all the limitations he had with like 16 millimeter people's schedules it's still really impressive how the film came out the way it is with all those things in the way And I think with that, I've only got about, like, two more Nolan films to see. That being Memento and Dunkirk. So, hopefully, we'll get to those.